Today's praise in Pearl devotional thought is Faithing It. The godly may trip seven times, but they get up again. This devotional is based on Proverbs 24, verse 16. On April 6, I would have read the devotional entitled The Tomato after a friend of mine posted it. I remembered asking her to lift me up in prayer because, like that tomato, I had a little black spot. In my case, though, it was a matter of others judging me based on that spot. Because I had carefully kept it under wraps, instead, it was a case where I didn't see that the spot as being little. To me, it was a big blot that made me doubt my ability to be used by God. This blot had caused me to judge myself even more harshly than the world might have judged me. It was preventing me from moving forward, living in purpose and for God's glory. She prayed for me and sent the link to the sermon on YouTube channel entitled The Single Secret to Succeeding in Christian by David Ashwick. I was reminded that sanctification was a process, not an instantaneous event. Instead, day by day, from faith to faith, I was being transformed from glory to glory. I understood that this wasn't license to sin, but all the reason I needed not to stay down. While I will admit getting up has not been easy, I can say without a doubt that God has been moving in my life. And no, it hasn't been a leap from being flat on my face to standing in a pulpit. The truth is I still struggle. But I have found that in my struggle, in trying to slowly get off my face, it's been easier to get on my knees. When I'm on my knees, not only am I getting the opportunity to, to surrender all my struggles to Christ Jesus, but I've been able to look at him as the very best example of my life. On that day in April, I committed my little black spot to God, and moments later, he responded by sending a verse of the day notification through my LNG White Bible app. There, I saw Isaiah 44 verse 22 run across my screen. I realized that I had been dwelling on the negative meaning of the word blot in reference to my own dark spot. In that had colored my life, forced me into a corner and was keeping me hostage. The Lord verbalized it to make me understand that he would wipe my slate clean and I would return to him for I was now redeemed. Christ offers us strength, purity and righteousness. We are not too sinful to, be, to benefit. Let us depend on his strength to lift us up when we fall. His purity to erase our black spots and righteousness to cover us and make us whole. This was your Praise in Peril devotional thought, written anonymously by a youth from Northeast Jamaica Conference, and I am Nathan Jackson.